Hey guys, welcome back to Gucci U. Here I'm at Epcot. If you've been watching the channel, you know I came here for the first day of the Flower and Garden Festival, and I didn't. I was kind of tired. We just came home. Uh, we went on a little trip, so I didn't really get to try anything. I just kind of did a brief look at the festival. But I'm here to return to try things, and I'm pretty excited because there's a lot of things I wanted to try, but I didn't get a chance to. I also want to do the scavenger hunt too, which looks a lot of fun. So we're gonna get the scavenger hunt, we're gonna try a couple things, look at all the festivities around here, of course, and I'm pretty excited, so let's get going. <laughs> So I think the first thing we need to do is get our map for the scavenger hunt. I believe they have them here at the pin trading headquarters. So let's go in there. While we're in there, we can look at the magic bands and pins as well. I, I kind of want to see the ones for this festival. So that should be pretty fun. All right, here we are. It looks like they have the maps. So here's the pins for the festival. Um, let's see, so there, those ones are limited release right there, those three. And those are limited edition right there. They're pretty cool. Um, let's see, it doesn't look like any of them are canceled or anything. They're just normal pins. And here's the prizes for the scavenger hunt. Those look really cool. And you can buy these gift cards here too. Let's look at them. So it has Spike the Bee on it. And you can put money on it and you can load it up. So when you go around to the festival, you can have money to spend. That's cool. And it looks like they have a new magic band for the festival for pass holders. We'll Let's check that one out as well. So there's Daniel pass holder band. There's Mickey on it. It's pretty nice. Thank you. Can I have a scavenger hunt? So I got the scavenger hunt here. It looks like a giant flower. It's kind of cool. And you get the stickers and you match them up. I believe Spike the Bee is with a flower. And you identify which flower he's with and put it on the map at each section. This is cool. So I did, they did offer to me. I could get my prize now, so I did. And I got this plate. This is the prize that you can get. It's actually a pretty, oh, it's two plates? It's two plates. Yeah, they're both the same plate. Uh, so two plates for $7.99. They're not, they're not terrible quality. I, I think that's not a bad deal. So we'll definitely still do the scavenger hunt though, since that's fun. So I have my map, and we're going this way towards the Living Seas, and I'm not sure, let's see. We're gonna go around and see what we can find. I did notice here, this was the location of Interventions, uh, along with Club Cool and all the buildings. This building is completely gone now. Even though it is a busy day, it's the middle of spring break, the wait time is only 10 minutes for the seas. I'm kinda tempted to go on it, but I think I'm gonna go on because I really want to get to the festival. The land over here doesn't appear too busy. Um, oh wait, what's that building over there? I think that's the butterfly garden for this festival, flower and garden festival. I don't know how they're gonna do that with physical distancing, but maybe there's something to be impressed with. We'll see. So it appears as if you enter this way. Yeah, there's a bit of a line to get in. There's some butterflies around here too. I've been to this festival many a time. I've always seen this butterfly garden. I've never been in it. So I don't know, this is gonna be a new experience for all of us. Oh, 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 oh. there's one of our, okay, so, so. Okay, that's our first scavenger hunt right there. So I'll stick that in a moment. So this is called the Goodness Garden. Okay, there it is, there, there on the bottom. This is pretty cool. So there's just all these Florida butterflies and the person just said, they were talking with a different group, saying that all these uh, butterflies are from Florida. Did you know? Sunshine gives butterflies the fuel to fly and play. If you don't see them in the morning, try spotting them when it's warmer in the day. Yeah, there's a lot of cool butterflies around here. I'm pretty, this is pretty fun. And it shows what each plant and tree is. It shows the transformation of the butterfly right there as well. And a reminder there to wear a mask when taking pictures. Good reminder. And then here it shows all the butterfly plants. And here's how you can like, here's a shallow tail butterfly. You can identify them. 
and there's some cocoons right there where the butterflies are coming. Here's some more over here. Butterflies to be. And just a little warning, butterflies are delicate things. Don't touch them or their wings. Just be careful. Ooh, that's cool. So this is pretty fun, I like this. Ooh. I really like the butterfly experience. I, like I said earlier, I have been to this festival many times, yet I've never been to the butterfly garden. I've heard about it, I've always considered it, but I never really got a chance to check it out. So this is my first time, it was pretty fun. Yeah, and I'm glad they're still doing it. I'm glad they're still doing a lot of stuff here for the festival, and we'll see what other um, surprises they have along the way. Uh, this may be one of my favorite topiaries we've seen, Figment. Up there, straight ahead, that building with the yellow on it, that is the new mouse gear eventually coming. And that's going to be where they're gonna sell all their merchandise. And then next door is gonna be the new restaurant. It used to be the electric umbrella. And here's some nice flowers here on the water. That's cool. I really like this Lion King topiary right here. And there's a photo pass photographer there. So you can get your picture with it. So that's really cool. Never got a chance to do it, but here's the map. I'm going to put my sticker on it. There we go. On your pathway out, they have a little exhibit here with the health full trail and some cool things here. Oh, wait. Oh, so that's actually an exit for this area over here. It's like a little maze. Let's go see. Check that out. Okay, let's see what we have. It's the health full trail. Uh, let your feet and imagination run wild in this unique playground experience. Huh. Well, there's some fun places to sit. It's kind of inviting. There's different plants you can look at. Let's go in here. So there's some mulch you can walk through. It's like a little maze. You look at all these plants. Yeah, how fun is this? This is nice. It's relaxing just to walk around all these trees. I have some more things. That's about it. So this is like a little area to relax and shows the importance of rest. It's a good thing to remember in a theme park. So when I first came here for the festival, I had no idea. There were some of these little exhibits along the way. I didn't even go into the World Showcase either. So I kind of feel like there's a lot of cool stuff here that I had no idea existed. And even throughout the years when I used to come to this festival, I used to never check out any of the butterfly garden or anything. I always thought, I, I didn't really consider going to any of those at all. So I'm really glad I got to check those out. I feel like at, at the beginning of this day, I felt like this festival was very disappointing. There wasn't much going on, but now I'm finding a lot and I'm actually pretty excited about it. Here at the Honey Bistro, they have lavender honey mustard marinated chicken flatbread. Now that sounds really good. Uh, local wildflower honey uh, mascarpone cheesecake. Oh wait, they have a honey peach freeze? And it comes in a Spike the Bee sipper. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna get anything now. I might come back here later. I know I'll definitely be back here in a future video. This festival goes on for a couple months, so we'll be back trying more things. I'm not in that big of a rush to try every single thing, but I'm definitely coming back there. Here's the citrus blossom. It's been here, this festival booth has been here since the beginning. Since they reopened after COVID, from every festival since, that booth has been here. And they've had like the exact same thing. But I think they have a new menu for this festival, so let's go see what they have. So they have a lemon poached lobster salad, citrus braised crispy pork belly, and citrus shortcake. Hmm. And they also have an orange and lemon smoothie and a new orange bird cup. And I think I'm gonna try that. Yeah, they claim to call it a smoothie. And if you've if you've been on this channel for a while, you know one of the most frustrating things for me is when Disney calls something a smoothie and it turns out to be an icy or a slush. So I'll be I'm pretty interested to see if this continues that trend or if it's actual smoothie. Hi, can I please have the orange bird uh, smoothie, please? The, the one year cup? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. 15. All right. All right, so I got the orange bird. It's very heavy. Uh, a lot more heavier than I imagined. 
Let me just find a good place to sit and we'll see how it is. So this is like an orange lemon slushy, I think. So it'll be interesting to see how it is. I finally got a table. Now let's try out this thing. So first of all, here it is. It's pretty cool. It has a little orange. It's fun. Um, we'll see how it is. That's definitely the most smoothie thing I've ever had on Disney property. It's really good. I like it a lot. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I think I give this a 4.7 out of 5. I really like it. So I really didn't notice that until I actually opened up my festival book. There's a lot of things going on here. First of all, they have all the topiaries you can go look at, and you can check them off as you see them. And that's pretty cool, of course. Classic. And they have all these gardens you can look at. Uh, we only looked at the butterfly one and the um, the health bull trail, but there's all these here and there. There's a lot going on here. And then there's the scavenger hunt. Oh wow, look at that. So beginning March 19th, which is in a couple days, there's going to be the extravagant egg extravaganza scavenger hunt throughout the world showcase oh we, we need to do that we'll be back here to do that of course very soon but that's cool uh they have growing the future healthful trail entertainment too the bands are going to play some local bands are going to play at the garden theater mariachi cobra voices of liberty epcot penis is going to play at the world showplace uh there's actually a lot going on here so i think we're definitely gonna have to come back. Uh, so here's my plan. We're gonna go around the world showcase. Uh, we're gonna check out some food options. We're gonna eat. And then uh, we'll check out the merchandise too because it said there's a lot of interesting merchandise along the way through the countries. And yeah, I think, I think we're gonna actually save the scavenger hunt uh, and do a little bit more of it later. But I do have it here and we did start it and it was fun starting it. But we'll finish it up later at a future date. And I'll be here for the um, egg scavenger hunt as well, because I'm pretty excited for that one. So let's get going, let's go around the world showcase. It's a very nice day, very nice night, and we'll get some food, so sounds good. So over here at the pineapple prom promenade, they have a spicy hot dog. That sounds really good, but I think we're gonna head on as well. I really want to save some things for later because this is a long festival, but I'm really excited to see what else we see along the way. Over here at the Festival Marketplace, they have a bunch of soap here. I like soap. Here is a butterfly topiary. So we're gonna head towards Mexico and go that route. And I'm pretty excited to see what we see. Here's Mexico here. There's a little bit of a line. I'm guessing about 30 minutes at most to get in there. It is a little busy today, as I said earlier. It's in the middle of spring break. Here's Norway. It looks like the line for the Frozen ride is all the way into China. Yeah, it's pretty busy. Here at the Lotus House, they have a chicken skewer with peanut sauce, that's mean peanut sauce, and crab and cheese wontons. Once again, that's somewhere I'm gonna come back. It looks really good. I always like these puppets they had. I remember when I was like 10 years old, they still had these puppets here, and they're cool. Here's some more merchandise right here. Mostly what we saw in Mouse Gear when we came the first time. It looks like for this festival they're selling dolls over there or something. Huh. Here we are in Italy. They have the pizza and they have a cannoli and they have the arancini, which they did have for the last festival. I'm really curious to see if it's the same thing. So I'm gonna get that and try that. So here's the arancini. They look very similar to the Festival of the Arts ones, which we had try. I'll link that in the description down below. I don't know, we'll see how these taste. They look and smell exactly the same. They probably are. We'll see. See how it is. They're really good. They taste very similar to the last ones, I think. Pretty good. Yeah, I think they're exact same thing. Uh, they just decided some for this festival too, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I really liked them last festival. I think I rated them like a 4 out of 5. Maybe even higher, I don't remember. But this time I would give it a 4 out of 5. Very high, very good. Alright, so here's Italy. Our next stop here is the American Pavilion. So I think there's actually two booths here at the American Pavilion. One being the Magnolia Terrace. 
and the other being the funnel cake place. They have a little mini funnel cake for this festival. So here's the funnel cake place. I think I'm gonna try the new mini funnel cake. So the mini funnel cake is topped with lemon chocolate ice, lemon cheesecake ice cream, blueberries, and powdered sugar. It's 8.50, we'll have to try that. So here it is, mini funnel cake. It looks like the perfect size because I've been um, eating a couple things today. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. Let's see how this is. First of all, the ice cream is really good. I think it's like a blueberry ice cream. It just goes really well with everything. I think that's one of the better things I've had here. That was really good. Everything went so very good together. Blueberries all went really good. This has to be one of my favorite desserts I've ever tried on Disney property. I'd very much get this, very much, very likely to get this again. 4.8 out of 5, pretty good. I always like the Japan booths here because they always have a lot of really unique foods. Okay, here we go. Shrimp and crab, which sounds really good. Uh, soy glazed pork shank. And here's the top of the thing that I was interested in, the fushi. It's sushi with fruit. And I'm, I'm, I don't know, apparently that was a huge thing last year um, and I had no idea about it, so I'm gonna go try it. Okay, so I got the sushi as seen here. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. Um, I like fruit. I, I haven't really, I'm not a big sushi person, but I'm interested to see if this is good. I've heard some good things. I looked it up, apparently it's a huge thing for this festival. So I'm excited to try it and see what I think of it. So I don't know how to eat it. I'm gonna try and eat it with a fork. I don't know, it's probably wrong, but I don't really know. So let's see. That's really good. The flavor's good. The rice is like sweet, so it goes good together. The only complaint I would have, I wish it was more chilled. It's kind of room temperature. I feel like it would have been a lot better if it was chilled. I think I would give it a 3.9 out of 5. The idea and the flavors were really good. It was creative, it was presented well. I really liked it. I just wish it was a little more cold. Felt like it was sitting there and it wasn't that good. But the flavors together really well. So, yeah, I thought it was good. Right from Japan are the topiaries or something. Let's take a look. So, depending on the topiary, they're different prices. Um, let's see. So, you have an elephant right here. It's $49.99. Meanwhile, you have a Mickey. Mickey is $54.99. That's really cool. Here's a pig. The giraffe is cool. How much is that one? Only $50. Okay. I really like those. That's a really cool thing to a souvenir you could take from here. It would be kind of hard if you weren't living around here, though. Uh, if you were taking it home. But they're cool. This one here looks really good. It's right between... Morocco and France. I think I looked at this one previously. Let's see what the actual menu is. So they have lamb curry, sugar cane, shrimp skewer, and a tropical mousse cup. And they also have a tropical freeze, which is non-alcoholic. I think I'm gonna try that. Okay, I got the tropical freeze as little mangoes or whatever on top. Let's see if it's as tropically and as freezy as they claim. I'll try it and let you guys know. Let's see how it is. They got their words right this time. They called it a freeze. And it is indeed a freeze. It isn't a smoothie. It isn't a milkshake. I think they did a good job naming it. But while we're on the subject of name, I don't know why they call it tropical freeze when they could have just called it mango slush. Because this is just uh, mango slushy. It's good. And it's not bad at all, I like it. Uh, I just wish I would have known what it was before because I wasn't really in the mood for something mango-y. But still, I like it, it's good. I give it a solid four out of five. Very good. All right, right here is Chef's de France. Chef's de France, the restaurant here at Epcot. Over there is the Epcot booth for the festival. Over here is where there's Impressions de France, which rotates with the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Over there's the Skyliner, and right there is the new Remy's 
Ratatouille Adventure coming later this year. Uh, we'll go over there in a second, but here is a Beauty and the Beast topiary. That's really cool. We're gonna go in the store here. Hopefully they have some Remy's Ratatouille Adventure merchandise. We did check some out in our earlier video. I'm interested to see if they still have the same ones or if they have any more. I guess we'll see. Looks like same thing. They have a little chef, uh, chef set that you can buy your little chefs. They got the plushes back, which I was happy to see. I purchased one of those. It speaks English and French too. It's really cool. They have the bag, the ears, and all the other shirts. I kind of wish they had more shirts though. They might have some more when the ride opens. They announced the opening to be October 1st, um, which is kind of really hard for me. Since I'm a huge fan of Ratatouille, and the first is the 50th anniversary of Disney World, so I would, October 1st, I would love to be at Magic Kingdom, but I think I'm actually gonna be here for our Remy's Ratatouille adventure. But don't fret, don't worry. Our father, um, Stev, he will be at Magic Kingdom on the first, getting some footage for us there. So don't worry, you'll, you'll, you'll see there. It's gonna be fun. And you'll get both perspectives too. And I'll bring my GoPro too, so we can get a 360 degree view of the ride, which would be pretty cool too. So I'm excited for that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited to see where I meet this ride at Two Adventure. Meanwhile, since we're on the subject, let's go over and go see where it's going to be. Yeah, Matt's gonna be with us when we go check out the ride on the opening. They did open a portion of the new area but a lot of it's still behind walls. There's the sign. Mmm, just comforting to look at. Down. Chef Auguste Gusteau Street. I like that here on the benches. I don't know if you can see him. There he is, Remy, on the benches. Really cool detail. A lot, a lot of cool details on the wall here. Up here we have a sign that says Rue Auguste Gusteau which means Auguste Gusteau Street. Here's the stroller parking for when the attraction does open. And up above, we have the Skyliner. And there's the Gusteau sign up there. That's pretty fun. And there is the Crepery restaurant that's gonna be here. Uh, just the side of it because the other side is blocked off. And they have some restrooms here too, so. The drinking fountain. So you can get a little taste, a sampling, if you will, of the Ratatouille area. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Look who it is. The cook himself. Remy himself right there. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna eat much more just because I do have dinner plans and it's starting to get a little late. So I think I'm just gonna look around a little bit more, see if we can find the other festivities going on. And I, I, we'll definitely be back. And when we get back, we're gonna go the opposite direction, starting at Canada. And then we'll check out those restaurants along the way. I haven't been to an Epcot at night in a very long time. And it's very nice, I, I'm gonna say that. Here's some Winnie the Pooh topiaries right here. I like these ones a lot. Let's run in the World Show Place. See what's going on in there. See if there's anything new. Oh, this looks cool at night. Okay, let's go in here. No one's here. Nothing really new in here. Just the same food offerings. There's a pianist in here. Playing piano once in a while, but nothing really different from last time. Oh, outside, right outside. I noticed this before, but we have Mickey and Minnie topiaries right here. Very nice. Okay, let's go. All right, here we are back at the Citrus Blossom, or whatever it's called, where we got the orange bird. Before we go, though, I really want to go see at the entrance. I heard there's like a new, uh, it's all lit up. It looks really cool. So I want to go see that. P Spaceship Earth is only a 10 minute wait. So maybe we'll try and go over there. On our way to Spaceship Earth, the Seas with Nemo and Friends is only 10 minutes too. So I say we have a grand finale right now and go on both rides. How about that? Yours. Oh, 
walk on wait time, actually not 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes if you walk through the line. Great, thanks. Okay, here we are. In our own little Killian Michelle. That was a fun ride. Um, yeah, obviously my thoughts on that ride. They're kind of mixed. I, I definitely missed the original one. And this one's definitely, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of cheap in some ways. But uh, I mean, if you if you really just sit back and enjoy it and not really worry about all the other things, I think it's a very enjoyable ride. So let's go on. I think Spaceship Earth has like a 10 minute wait as well. So maybe we can ride that as well. Uh, that's a good view right there. It does look like there's definitely some sort of wait here. Shouldn't take too long though. I'm oh, it's 20 minute wait right now. Right now it's 8.20 p.m. So we'll see if it actually takes 20 minutes. So the time is now 8, I won't focus, 8.28. So we've been in line for about five minutes. And we're almost there actually. It's probably, we'll probably be there. It'll probably end up taking like six or seven minutes. It's a nice mural right there. Thank you. Let's do English. Okay, there we go. There we are out there. Uh, for the focus. There we are. Going through space. Like that. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back.
planner this time. Um to the destination. I think the city, yeah. Mmm. I don't have a pet. So I guess the house. Oh, the wind the wind is cool. fun. So I don't know why, but there's these planters right in front of Spaceship Earth. That's weird. I don't know why Why in the world those are there. Huh. So here we are at the front of Spaceship Earth. And we'll look at this. So the light goes all around. So it's like blue right now. It's turning orange. So as you can see, the orange is spread, spreading all around. Plus you have the flags here of all the pavilions here at Epcot. And you have this, the fountain right here. And then you have the grand view of Spaceship Earth. They did a really good job with this entrance. I like it a lot. So it's been a really long day here. We we started off walking around the festival. We bought a scavenger hunt. We tried a couple things. We rode two rides. We saw this incredible entrance here. I think it's been a really great day today. and I, I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So I think we're going to call it a day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. So as usual, I'm Goo, you're you. And I wish a Goo to each and every one of you. Happy Halloween! <laughs>